YouTube, what is going on? I hope everyone is doing well. So in my Pixel 5 video, a lot of you guys asked all about my theme, etc. So I thought I'd put this little video together and basically show you guys how I get my Android set up. So obviously this doesn't just work on the Pixel 5. I actually have it on a multitude of devices and have been using it for some time now. So if you have Android, then you can go ahead and do this. So with that said, let's get into this tutorial. So first of all, let's download everything you will need. So head into the Play Store and pick up Nova Launcher. Personally, I use Prime but it's up to you if you want to go ahead and pay for it. From there, we can go ahead and grab our icon pack, which is called Dark Matter, and it does have a large selection of icons, so most of you should be covered. Now for our widgets, you are going to go ahead and download KWGT Custom Widget Maker. Again, I have the Pro Key, and the last app that you will need is Flow for KWGT, and this is where we will get the widgets that we are going to be using in this tutorial. Okay, so the last item that we need to download is of course the wallpaper, it will be linked down below in the description and I'm going to assume that everyone here knows how to apply their own wallpaper. Okay, so now head into Nova Launcher and let's get this all set up. First of all, go into the settings you get there by long pressing on the home screen. From there, scroll down until you find default launcher, then obviously select Nova Launcher. This makes sure that you stay in here every time you press home etc and there will be no mishaps. Okay, so before we do anything else, next what we're going to do is apply our icons. So go ahead and open the Dark Matter app, simply hit Apply Dark Matter, then select Nova Launcher and you are pretty much good to go. Now we can go ahead and move on to our widgets. So let's set up the clock widget first. Long press on the home screen, select widgets, and then scroll down to KWGT and choose the two by two option. Then in the app, select Flow002. Okay, so now that we have the clock widget on our home screen, I'm going to show you how to get it to line up with the wallpaper perfectly. Okay, so first of all, slightly move it into position where you think it's going to be. Then just go ahead and click on it. From there, go into Layer and start making it bigger by hitting the plus icon. When you're ready to test, simply press the Save key at the top, then go back to the home screen and see how it looks. If the icon is not lining up the way you want it, simply click on it again and this time click on stack group and you will see position now shows up. Simply adjust the offset until you are happy, then you are pretty much good to go. It just takes a little bit of footering about, obviously it differs from device to device and I will show you all the settings for the Pixel 5 at the end of the video just in case you want to skip all this and simply copy them. Okay, so now for the battery widget, we do the exact same thing, except this time select Flow 017. So as you can see, I have modified this by deleting a lot of it. So if you go ahead and click on status, you are going to see you want to delete connection, text, overlap group and text again, and you will be left with just the battery bar. Now all we have to do is just go in and arrange our size and layout to get it to match up with the wallpaper again. So first of all, I always go ahead and increase the size. Then I go to the home screen and resize the widget a little. Then it's just a case of tweaking the position and size to get it to perfectly sit within the wallpaper. Now other settings that I am using within Nova include the Nova Google Companion, as I love Google Now page. So head over to the link in the description, download it, install it, then you are pretty much good to go. When you download it, you will see that the light theme is applied. And if you don't like that and want to go ahead and include the dark theme like I have, simply go into your settings then go to integrations and you will see theme simply click on it and select dark and now when you go ahead and swipe over to the page you will see that dark mode has been enabled and it definitely looks much better so that's you pretty much set up now if you want to change anything else just go into nova settings and have a little play around and you may find some things that you like obviously as you can see here you can go ahead and change up the clock colors the battery colors and all that good stuff simply just click on the widget click on globals and then you can go ahead and change the color just remember to click that save button anytime you make a change to the widget or it won't appear so if you find any colors other than the white and black that look good don't forget to send me a little tweet as i would love to see your home screen set up so that pretty much rounds this up guys don't forget to smash that like button don't forget to subscribe and join the crew and as always thank you so much for tuning in stay safe be kind to each other and i will catch you on the next one peace I